So literally a couple hours ago uh, here in California, Procreate released uh, Procreate 5X. And Procreate 5X seems to be touting a lot of new filters, new pencil effects, and just many, many new features that a lot of people have been asking for. But let's see if it has all the features that people have been asking for. I know there are a couple myself that I'm really, really hoping it has, but we're going to be opening up Procreate 5X right now for the first time. I just downloaded it in the App Store, and let's see what they got. All right, big moment, first time. First time I'm opening up the new Procreate 5X. And that was pretty unexciting. <laughs> Usually, usually when Procreate does these sort of like big updates, they usually have like some sort of like little video play or something like that. But uh, okay, we'll just we'll just go to here. Uh, this is the Procreate version 5x build, uh, and then all the blah 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 at the end. So yeah, we have Procreate 5x. Uh, no big exciting video this time, uh, but that's good. We can just jump right in. So that's cool. So let's make a new document here. Um, let's just go with something simple. Let's go with the screen size. That seems to be the easiest one to go with. And we're just going to check out some of the new features that they have right now. Uh, as for brushes, uh, I was just watching a live stream with uh, one of the people from Savage. It looks like they don't have any new brushes for this version of Procreate, which is totally fine. They released a, a, a bunch of new brushes. I was going to say a ton. <laughs> they released a bunch of new brushes beforehand in the Procreate 5 update, so we can cut them a break on this one. As for some of the brush features, these are the things that I'm really hoping that they improved on, but we will see what that looks like after we've checked out some of the more, some of the more visual features that they have been advertising in the past weeks. So we just drew a simple smiley face here to test out some of our effect filters. This seems to be what Procreate 5X is all about, is really in the effects area of things, so let's give that a look. So we are in here, we are in... And I'm navigating the menu blind, just so you know. So it's going to, there's going to be a lot of user error here, but you know, that's fine. That's fine. So we're in Canvas. It looks like Canvas is about the same as it was in Procreate 5X, except for reference view. So it looks like we have this new view, reference view, which I've seen a lot in the Procreate beta videos that have come out recently. So let's turn on reference view. So that is really, really cool. So basically, if you're coming from Photoshop and you're used to something like the Navigator tool, this is the tool for you. This is fantastic. And I can't thank Procreate enough for this. This is fantastic. So every time I draw anything, it looks like a complete video representation of what I'm doing on the canvas. That is fantastic. Fantastic. Um, and you can also bring in something from your gallery, important image. So we can just do an important image. Oh, it looks like that isn't working quite right yet. So I'm trying. I'm just trying to import an image, and it looks like there might be a bug here. I'm not sure if that is unique to me, but when I click on import image, it seems to not be working quite quite right. So uh, if anybody from Savage is watching this, or anybody else who knows if there may be something I'm doing wrong, uh, please let me know. Uh, as for other features, it looks like there is a face map as well, which that makes me look very weird. Uh, okay, so let's undo. Oh God. That looks terrifying. Okay, so let's uh, let's make me look like what am I? Um, I am shopping at Hot Topic. Okay, let's let's do that. I'm a member of a new metal band in the early 2000s. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Anyway, so oh, that looks like a sad face. Okay, so anyway, that seems to be the new navigator function. Uh. Reference view doesn't seem to be working too well for me, but you know, this is a new software. It's a new system. I'm sure that bugs are going to happen and bugs are going to get worked out. So no worries about that. So let's, let's go back to our gallery really quick. So this is an emote I did a while ago. This might be a better example <laughs> to, to let things go. Okay. So now let's go to our bloom effect, apply it to our pencil. And now let's see what we can get going with this. So this looks to be something similar to how maybe like a color dodge would work. I'm guessing this looks to be similar to something like color dodge. So we're on this bloom effect. Not really sure what that does. Okay, let's go. Let's make a new layer as the bloom effect. Am I still doing it? Wait, let's bloom pencil. I'm not sure. Am I doing this wrong? Bloom. Let's just try it on the layer first. Yeah, bloom, layer. 
Oh, layer empty. Okay, let's try bloom without the pencil effect. Slide to adjust. Okay, so this in theory is what would happen with the brush as well. It seems to be, maybe it's just because of the image I'm using. Maybe it needs to be a more complex painting or something like that to really take advantage of this feature. But the bloom effect seems to be working uh, regardless of if I'm using it correctly with the brush or not. Once again, I said there's going to be a bunch of user error on this. I'm going in completely blind, but I'm sure you are as well. So this is the this is the experience of a new user. Okay, so this bloom effect when you move your finger back and forth, this seems to be what happens. It gives you kind of a similar feeling to like I mean this looks like Heaven's Gates right now, but this this seems to have a similar effect to when you would use something like a color dodge layer or something like that. So let's undo this and move on to our next feature. So the next feature looks like the glitch feature, which is something that I've been very excited about. The glitch feature is something that gives it a little bit of that techie effect or something. I mean, it looks straight up like a glitch. So we've already applied the filter. Let's move our finger to the left and to the right to strengthen or decrease the effect. So when we move it to, or actually, yeah, let's move it to the right. Our finger to the right. Wow, that really, really takes hold fast. So it looks like so you can start off on the very on the very low end of things, just kind of small. Kind of this is probably what a lot of people are going to use when they first start using this, just to be subtle. But you can really just make stuff go crazy, which also looks really, really cool. So I mean, you know, this is kind of your mileage may vary, but I think this effect is going to be used for things in the future that are very, very cool. All right, on to the next effect. So the next effect that we're going to be covering is halftone. And this is something if you're a fan of like an old newspaper print look or maybe even like an old comic book look. So if you're into like that kind of old style, this is going to be something that really appeals to you. So let's click on halftone. Once again, applying it to the layer. That seems to be the more stable way to do things. We'll move our finger to the left and to the right. You can really, really see how that takes effect. Once again, the more you go to the right, the more huge this gets. This the more huge this gets, this almost looks like a pop art piece or something you'd see in like a like a MoMA, like M Modern Art Museum or something like that. And you can really lower it. And I like probably around like that level. So this makes it look almost like a real print, which is really, really cool. So this, if this was in a newspaper, this is probably what this would look like. Halftone, that's a really cool effect. Let's move on to the next one. And I believe our final new addition here is the chromatic aberration effect. The chromatic aberration effect. And this is something that I'm a really big fan of. I used to have a kind of hacky way. I used to do it in old versions of Procreate uh, to make it kind of resemble chromatic aberration. But now that the effect is, is really here, it's officially here, I couldn't be more excited about that. So let's check it out. When I click chromatic aberration, once again, I'll be doing it with the layer property. That seems to be the more stable of the two choices. Pencil will work, but it seems to, the layer seems to be the more sure thing. So I'm not sure what this middle part does. I'm sliding the transition slider left and right. Oh, I need to, oh, sorry. I need to actually move my finger left and right still. I thought maybe that thing in the center would take place of my finger, but apparently it does not. This controls, it looks like the direction of the aberration. So let's, let's really make it extreme to the left and to the right. Yeah. So this is what it does. That center column uh, or center, center dot controls the angle of the aberration, which is awesome. Transition seems to increase or decrease the amount of space between the aberration, like the intensity between the spaces. As for fall off, it looks like fall off kind of makes the shapes inconsistent with one another. So it almost looks like I can adjust this and make the angles more extreme if I increase or decrease the fall off. So if I make the fall off completely nothing, it just blooms from the center. And if I make the fall off greater, it, it seems to bloom from whatever direction opposite this gray circle. So that's really, really cool. And once again, I'm checking these out for the first time, just like you're going to be very, very soon once you download Procreate 5X, going in completely blind. And these are all cool effects so far. These are all cool effects so far. And I believe we've made our way completely through the new effects. Now it's time for something that I'm going to check out to see if they've improved anything that I seem to be having problems with in the previous versions of Procreate. There are two things that I've had problems with in the previous versions of Procreate that I've spoken out about many, many times on my various live streams that I do every day, Monday through Friday. And 
I'm hoping that they fix these in this new update. It's not a sure thing. They didn't make any announcements for it, but this is something that we have been pining for in the forums of Procreate for literally years now. And the thing that I'm talking about is proper brush smoothing. They're I'm, I'm really hoping that Procreate implemented some sort of proper brush smoothing. It's not a major feature that they would tout because it's nothing that is that gigantic of a deal. Literally every other program, literally every other app for art on the App Store has some form of brush smoothing that, that works honestly better than Streamline in Procreate does. Streamline, if you're a letterer or you do calligraphy, Streamline is fantastic. If you do comics or any type of line work, my, I myself am a character designer, it does not stand up to the competition at all. So let's see if they've done any type of improvements whatsoever when it comes to their brush performance. So I'm um, pulling up just a standard black brush here. Uh, let's pull up something, what's a, what's a good brush? My sketch brushes. This is my personal set of sketch brushes, by the way. If you want access to these, these are available on my Patreon that will be linked below. Just so you know, no pressure. But these are really great brushes, and it's and these brushes are really the best that I feel I can get out of Procreate in its current state. So I'm hoping that maybe there's a little bit more juice I could get out of this program when it comes to line work with this new update. So let's open open up a new document here, a a larger document than that emote that was a very that was a very small uh, that was a very small document. So we're opening up a new document now. We are going to get rid of this layer, just clear that out, and. We're gonna go into our brush menu and see if there's anything new added to the brushes. It looks, uh, and unfortunately I'm going through these menus here. Let's go to dynamics as well, see if there's anything. It doesn't look like there have been any changes made to the brush menus. It seems to be that the new update to Procreate really focused more on the left side of the menu than the right side, the right side being the brushes, the left side being the effects, uh, which is totally understandable, totally cool. Uh, I understand that from Savage's End, you know, they can't just develop all the features in the littlest time possible. But as a user and someone who's been asking for this feature for a long time, I'm going to be honest, I am pretty disappointed. Uh, in all honesty, I used to be a, a much heavier Procreate user, but in the past months, I've actually found myself using Art Studio Pro more. And Art Studio Pro actually just received an update that has been majorly awesome. Uh, very similar to Procreate. It has the reference view. It has a bunch of new things. And in all honesty, the number one thing holding me back from recommending Procreate to any artist friends or new people asking me about what programs to use on my live streams every day is this feature. Streamline is okay. Streamline works if you really, really need it to. But in all honesty, it is not up to par to the competition. Clip Studio, Photoshop. Medibang, a free program. All of these, all of these programs have proper line smoothing. Procreate does not. And I am part of a, I am part of the forum group that has been asking in a thread that is nearing 100,000 people posting in it, asking for a few years now for a proper line smoothing feature. Now Savage has responded in this forum a couple times, but really it's been it's been very sparse and I don't know why they're avoiding this feature. It seems to be something that is fairly simple to do. I mean, I'm not a developer by any means. I'm not trying to give Savage too hard of a time here, but as a user, I'm saying the one thing that's keeping me from using this program, you can have all of the effects in the world and, and all of the reference views and everything. And that's fantastic. And I appreciate you for doing that. But without proper line smoothing, doing things like I do on a daily basis, which is character design, that becomes much, much harder to do. Much, much harder to do. So I really, I'm, I'm kind of begging here <laughs> or I'm kind of pleading here with Savage, like please take this video and, and maybe, maybe consider adding a proper smoothing feature in the near future. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother drawing anything new. It's like, so this, so yeah, without proper smoothing, when you try to make slow strokes, see there is no gap between the lines here and you zoom in, it's very, very wobbly. Now that could be attributed to your hand, but the nature of digital art, if you don't have any type of smoothing on whatsoever, it's going to be wobbly no matter what. It is unlike traditional in that way. So moving on from that, the other thing that I was really, really hoping Savage would fix in this update would be their compatibility with Photoshop brushes. Me, for example, I have a set of brushes from Shein Kim, the Disney character designer, and they work fantastic in Photoshop. They work fantastic in Art Studio Pro just like how they're supposed to. They obviously work fantastically in the uh, Adobe Fresco app because they are, at their nature, Photoshop brushes. When I import 
these brushes into Procreate, they behave very strangely, very strangely. So I will show you an example of what they look like in the new beta of Art Studio. And I will just show you an example of what they look like in the beta of the new Art Studio program. So this is what the brushes are supposed to look like. Here's my Shein set right here. This is what the bristle brush is supposed to look like. Looks exactly the same in Photoshop. Looks exactly the same in Art Studio. Looks exactly the same. Now, when I when I draw with my medium ink here, you get that breakage, you get everything. This looks exactly the same way it does in Photoshop and in Adobe Fresco. Fantastic. I love these brushes. They're fantastic. Now, when I do the same thing, I'll open up Procreate side by side here, just so you can see. I'll get rid of that reference view. Uh, there we go. I'll get rid of the reference view. When I use that same brush in here, looks very different, very different. And, uh, and, and in my opinion, unacceptable. Uh, let's do the same thing with this medium regular ink. That's the, that's the line on the below section in Art Studio. It's just not, it's just not working. It's just not working. Is this, is this a complete deal breaker for an artist? No, you can make good art with anything. You can make, and there are many fantastic features that Procreate has. Animation, it's insane. The user, the user interface is fantastic. There's, it's unparalleled in that regard. Uh, the, the effects, the painting features, they're all amazing. Procreate is lacking two major things, line smoothing and proper brush support. If they can fix those two things, this will be my recommended app and I will use it for every bit of professional work that I do. Right now, that crown goes to Art Studio Pro. So there will be a link to download Art Studio Pro in the description, but I hope this video was helpful for you guys who are maybe getting Procreate 5X for the first time. Maybe you bought it, maybe you just upgraded to it. I honestly, if it, if it were up to me and you have the budget to account for it, I would say get both Procreate 5X and the new Art Studio Pro app. They are both fantastic at different things. If you're more line work heavy, I would say go with Art Studio. If you're more painting heavy, I would say go towards Procreate. But I hope this video has been helpful. And if you feel like watching me do any more art live for your viewing pleasure, you can view me on Twitch every day, Monday through Friday, uh, 9 a.m. PST to 3 p.m. PST. And if you would like to support me further, you can always support me on Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description below. Thank you so, so much. And guys, remember, no matter what program you use, really, it's just your hands and your eyes, and I guess your brain, that really needs to be the number one thing that you develop. So no matter what program you're using, you can create fantastic art. Don't let this discourage you. If you just got Procreate 5X, you'll definitely be able to make fantastic art with it. I'll definitely be using it in the future more and more just to see what effects they've added and see how I can work it into my workflow. But guys, if you like that video, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe for future uploads and just my random ramblings. So thank you so much. I will see you next time.